Hello, this is Alex, and welcome back to the Atto in Feed the Beast server. I have been very busy. I have been building. <laughs> ah, this damn smoke. Okay, um, let's see, turn on other things. Yes, there's a smoke thing down here that Joker found in the uh, Twilight Forest in a fire biome or something. I don't know. He put it in my new roof here. I've been building a new a new base building because I was tired of uh, I was tired of this little hut here I still am uh, but I've been building it for a while a uh, long time yesterday and a lot of time today and I've been moving out my machines here um, so I can yeah I want to have a better setup so here it is Ta -da. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to go with the long, narrow uh, house again, just because I like that look. And I just, I want to make this house look weird and have outcroppings here and there. And so I don't know what exactly I'm going to put where yet. Hello. It's a sheep on my roof. A oh, ram, I guess. It's a sheep from the Twilight Forest. They look like ram. Um, so I've got some few floors in here. Also, I can't get in there. <laughs> I don't actually have any doors to get in yet, but um, I made it so I can't get in. Oh, here's Jeffrey. Hello, Jeffrey. Jeffrey is my butler. Can you say hello to the people of the interwebs? Jeffrey, don't be rude. Come over here. There you go. Hello, Jeffrey. Oh, you're heading for... No, you can't jump up there. No? Jeffrey is my, uh, he's my butler. He takes care of my the stuff in my house. Let's put him up here on the second floor. You you need to be up here. Look after the stuff, right? Okay? Don't do it. <laughs> okay. So the first floor down here uh, is where I'm going to have my machines. I have a macerator here. And my induction furnace, uh, extractor, compressor. Here I had an MFE, but I hooked up the power wrong, so it blew up. I gotta build another MFE. Um, the wire room is downstairs. We can go take a look at that. Yoink! This is what I've set up so far. Um, this ender chest I hooked up to my blaze farm. Uh, and here's the transposer. And behind this block is a timer that is just ticking away. And every time it ticks, it takes out a blaze rod and tries to put it in one of these guys. If one of them need it, he's going to get one. So this one is going to get 64. So they're always full. Um, behind there, I hooked up all of the... These are generators, by the way. I hooked them all up to go into this MFSU so I can store a lot of energy. That goes into an MV, medium voltage uh, transformer, which then goes into an LV, a low uh, voltage transformer. This goes up. I had this <laughs> diamond pipe or glass wire here, glass fiber uh, wire cable going up to the MFE from this guy. And this guy puts out 512. And the MFE only takes 128, so as soon as I hooked it up, it just said boom and exploded. So I gotta take it out from this guy. Uh, this here is the low voltage, it puts out 32 EUs, and I hooked that up to the machines up there. So it's a very simple setup, but uh, it continuously produces energy, which is very nice. So these guys have got energies all the time. Uh, up here, it's gonna be my storage room level. I got barrels on all the entire wall over there, and on most of this wall here. Ah, stop flying. Um, <coughs> so I don't, I don't actually have anything put in there yet. This is just temporary stuff I have in my inventory. Uh, over here, these are project tables. Where on top of the project table, I'm gonna put an item that represents what that project table is mainly about all of these up here are project tables as well. Here I want another gold chest. 
Um, we can actually go make a gold chest so you can see how you do that. So down here I have my portal set up to go to my other little room here. So first of all we need to make a normal chest. Yes, come on. Uh, there we go. Put one of those. Then we need some iron. Two more. Thank you. And some gold. Yes, okay. So you put the chest in the middle, you surround it by iron. Yes, you get an iron chest, and then you do the same with gold. So they're expensive to make, but they hold so much loot, or what you're going to call it, so many items. So I think it's okay that they're expensive. Hello, Jeffrey. Can you move, please? Thank you. Don't fly down. Uh, remove this and put that down. Yeah, that looks nice. Whoops. I keep falling down here. I think I'm going to have to make this only one wide so I don't fall down all the time. But I want to be able to get up and down easy without having to go to a staircase somewhere. And since we're always wearing jetpacks, it's not a problem. Uh, way back here, I have another little room with a view. Joker helped me with this. He did the roof, um, some of the sides, the rest I built. And Jeffrey was delivered to me by Seamus, who, when he entered the Twilight Forest, was right next to like a glacier thingy, just penguins, and he brought him over here with a portal gun. And now he lives with me, cute little guy. So I was just about to build a new MFU to put here, to charge my items in, so I don't have to go downstairs. This thing that puts out 512 um, charges stuff faster. So if I put this, this in here, it charges pretty fast. Um, the MFE isn't quite that fast, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be like super duper fast. I can maybe do something later. So we need to make a machine block, which is just refined iron. I think I got most of the stuff in here. Um, get that out. Okay, so machine block. Yes, let's make another MFE. Um, that goes there. Then we need some of these red crystals. They are called energy crystals. That are, That's just ruby with redstone up around. So let's get some rubies. How many did we need? Four. Okay, so Four of those, get some more redstone. And they're pretty easy to make. The problem is they don't stack. So that's a little annoying. Um, yoink. Okay, put those in there. And then some gold thingies here. Double insulated gold cable. Ta-da! MFE. Didn't take very long. Okay. Uh, let's hope this works and doesn't blow up again. Bam! Is it charging? Yes, look at that. Oh, I hear a zombie. Why do I hear a zombie? Oh, stuff can spawn on my roof. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> uh, these are all uh, micro blocks uh, that you cut up. Oh, how did you spawn down here? Uh, F7. Is there some place stuff can spawn? Except on my roof. They shouldn't be down here. Maybe he fell down from the roof. Yeah, you can see this is not perfect. Mobs can spawn up here. But that's the price you gotta pay, I guess. Oh, and a guy can spawn here. We don't want that. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this. Don't want that. Uh, I've been working on some magic, and I actually had some magic happenings going on around here. If we go over here, I made these goggles of revealing, I think they're called. Yes, goggles of revealing. If you put these on, if you look... <laughs> uh, hello. Yeah, they look weird, but they're good. Uh, it's a good item. You can see down here in the left corner, 
that my flux, which is kind of like bad magic, if you can call it that, is pretty high here. And this is a, a flux node, I think, or an aura node, I'm not entirely sure. But I tried to grow some more of the blue trees around here um, to see if I could get, see, I got a sapling here that this hasn't grown yet. These are the silverwood saplings that help with flux build up. But maybe we need to, where should we try and put it? Because I'm doing all my magic in there, so uh, maybe we should build it on top of the house, actually. Hmm. Well, for now, let's just put it there. See if it grows. Grow, little guy. Um, so what happens is, if you have too much flux in an area, uh, weird things can happen. I've had, uh, like, s these giant angry zombies spawn, uh, three and a half blocks high, and attack you, and you get uh, a message in here saying that something bad happened and spawned bad things outside your door or something. Um, so I had three of those zombie guys spawn. I've had some fire bats spawn trying to kill me. And uh, I've had some lightning strikes from a clear sky. So even though I'm trying to be very careful when I'm doing the magic, when you put stuff in here, and you create something magical, whatever uh, uh, aspects are left over gets released into the air as flux. So you need to be careful when you're using magic. Okay, so we can take a quick look at uh, this magic thing. Let's get my Thormanomenon here. This is a book um, that you just shows you, this is what you start off with here. Um, so it tells you about uh, different things, flux, you can escape and or pause it and read it if you so want. It tells you about silverwood trees, aspects of magic, uh, the great wood trees, magical trees, shimmer leaf, infused ore, uh, so on and so forth. Um, the enchantments that are new, haste, repair, potency, frugal, charging and treasure. And there's a lot of other information in here, how to make wands and such. Um, then as you discover stuff uh, in the beginning, oops, in the beginning it looks like this. So this is something I haven't discovered yet. This is golemancy, where I can make little clay golems uh, and have them walk around and do stuff for me. Um, and as you discover stuff, uh, it gets put in here into this thing. Uh, there's some bee magic over here. Uh, some different frames to put in the apiaries. You can make gunpowder. Whoops. Uh, and you can transmute. For instance, if I get, I can put some um, uh, gold nuggets, for instance, into the crucible, along with some glass and I could get tin out of it. So that's pretty good. If you're short of something, you can transmute one metal into another. Uh, and you can make all kinds of things here. The goggles, uh, the axe you saw, the sword of the Sefer, which is this thing. Um, I made a new one and put some repair on it because I didn't do that last time. And repair is the first enchant you need to put on magic items if you want them to be able to repair as well as this axe. I also made a new one, put repair on it. So what that means is the item here will uh, <laughs> will repair itself as you use it. So if we take this away, go out here, oh, go away, and I cut down a tree, you will see that the, uh, we can turn that off now, it's gonna take durability damage. There. Uh, oh, I don't know if you <laughs> if you saw. If we do this again. There. See, 14.99, and done. It repaired itself. So um, these items that have repair on them are very good. I have repair on my boots as well. So if I take fall damage, for instance, uh, I didn't actually take enough there. I don't hope I don't kill myself here. 
Oh, yeah, I don't think... <laughs> they usually repair themselves pretty quick. Uh, it's more if you get hit, they actually take damage. But then they just repair themselves, so you don't have to worry about it. Let's replant and be conscious about this. Drink. Let the other one go, yeah? You got a sapling for me, guy? No, okay. Um, this guy over here has been cutting down some trees for me. Uh, the turtle. Um, Seth Bling made a program where you could cut down t uh, big trees. He calls it fell. If you want it, you can look at Seth Bling's videos where he talks about a computer craft and it's the third video. Um, bam! Let's get a big tree. That's a big tree. <laughs> And I just, uh, he paste bin it. Paste bin is a website where you can put up text files. And in these turtles, you can download um, those files by paste bin get and the code. And the code you get from the website. Or in this case, I got it from Seth Bling's video. And he called it fell. So I downloaded it as fell. I got this guy doing the flinty fly, flinty fly program as well. But the fell program will just uh, cut down a tree for you and store the, the wood in the in the turtle's internal storage here. So he's just going to cut down this tree and then wait here again. And I can go and plant a new tree. There are more complex programs where you can get him to replant the saplings and put, um, uh, what's it called, bone meal on it and so on. I tried one of those. It kept messing up. I think it was badly programmed. I don't know. So if you have one of those programs or you know how to make a good one or any other programs you'd like me to try, please let me know. Oh, that would be great. Um, this is a redwood, this tree. Uh, it's a good tree because it's good and tall. And it's a bad tree because you can't grow it if there's one of these leaves on top of it. Oh, hello. Um, so, I have to wait until all the leaf blocks despawn before I can plant another one, which is very annoying. So, I may want to go into another kind of tree to use here. Okay, mm, let's see what else. Uh, I don't think I changed anything else. We got this guy now. Is he charged? Yeah, he's full of energy now, which is good. Uh, I don't really need to make anything just yet. I'm going to continue to work on this, maybe bring you back a little bit later. Um, yeah. Someone told me that you can move these uh, rubber tree blocks that has the sap on them with the portal gun and stack them and they will continue to work. So why don't we try that? I hope it doesn't destroy the blocks in any way. Oh, okay, it kept it, so yeah, and put that on top there, no, go over there, come on, no, work, oh, damn you, <laughs> and there, yes, very good, anything else, yeah, there's a guy there, and we got any more facing this way? We got one up here. Land on top of this. Yes. Grab. Go over here. I love the portal gun. It's a brilliant addition. Um, maybe I should hover for this. Oh, come on. Okay. Come on. And... Come on. Place. Yes, look at that. And then I can take my sap thingy. I got this electric tree tap. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and we get some sticky resin. Okay, let's hope that grows back. Sticky resin we put in this machine over here. The extractor. Yoink. And the extractor is going to make three rubber out of each. So that's very good. And we go over here. See, he cut down the tree and now we've got to wait for all the leaves to despawn. Oh, we got a few saplings here. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, it's good to have the little helpers there. Um, okay, I'm gonna move with these around. These guys are creepy. They're trying to get out, I think. Stand still. <laughs> yeah, these are the brains in, in jars that store XP. Um, the way you make them, someone asked me, is in magic you discover the water jars, which is made by glass panes and arcane wood blocks, which is just made by putting normal logs in the arcane work table and uh, hitting it with your wand. Then you ex you discover this brand in a jar, which is the water jar we just made, a bucket of water, spider eyes and the zombie brain. In the infusion altar, that's the big altar, uh, and this is what they cost, cost evil, malice <laughs> from another. Um, I use uh, the skulls, uh, you know, these guys down here, these, to make them, and what else do I need? Yeah, they're a little bit creepy. Um, yeah, spider eyes and the zombie brains you get from killing angry zombies. You make that in the last infusion also. So, uh, they're not very hard to make, but you need to sacrifice a lot of resources to get to the stage where you can, uh, what are they called, where you can discover these, research them. If you right click, as I said, you get the XP. If you keep hitting it, you will release all the XP that's in the jar. And you can get all of it if you want to get a lot of XP here. Um, this was of course a big waste, what I just did. But it's cool, it's okay, I can just go up there and turn on the XP farm again. So, let's see if this guy made something. Yeah, he made a lot of, lot of books here. Mm, yeah, let's go make a few books of ourselves and then end the episode. So, go through here, go over here, bam. <laughs> Fortune 2, meh. What do we get here? Flame 1. Oh well, you can't win every time. Oh, I had some books over here as well. Okay. Well, that's it. I'm going to end the episode here. I don't want to make them too long because it seems like people can't concentrate if you make too long videos. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to make them a little bit shorter, I think. If I can, it's hard to make them short for me. <laughs> no, get off my roof. Damn kids. Okay. Kill you to death. There you go. Was there a spider over here? Oh, that's the brown sheep. Hello. Okay, let's say goodbye to Jeffrey and end the episode. Jeffrey, where you at? Jeffrey! Where is he? I see him. Oh, there he is. Can you say bye-bye, Jeffrey? Bye.